this is a good day, man. It's a good day. With Jameer Jones, you're excited about yeah, him? Yeah, I am excited about him, man. Um, the familiarity is there. Um, obviously, this is a dude that we liked him while he was here. Good length, good uh, athletic ability. Has played in the league as, as well now that he's bounced around a little bit, man. He had, what was we last? We said as soon as we released him uh, or whatever, and um, the Rams claimed him, he ends up having like a nice play over there for those dudes, man. I think it was the next week. Yeah, Wasn't it was like it the, on a the punt block, punt block or yeah. a, some type of fumble mm-hmm. recovery. Yeah, but it was like the next week right after that, man. So it is actually cool, man, for him to be able to come back and kind of get a second chance at, you know, rewriting his time here, man. Yeah. Such a weird scenario with him because he absolutely killed it for us in preseason. We felt, in a way, with him Uh the same way we feel about Robinson. Not to the degree of Robinson, but just like he's earned a spot. He's come out of nowhere this preseason. Mm -hmm. He should be a depth guy at outside linebacker. Yeah, we thought he outplayed... Roche, because we actually who was drafted draft pick. Roche. That's what it was. And we were like, man, Quincy's the draft pick, but Jameer definitely was the more productive player, the more consistent player. But we were trying to figure out how do y'all do that, you know what I mean, since one was the draft pick. But, yeah, I'm with you, man. And then we cut him, was it after the Raiders yes. game or the Bengals game? I mm-hmm. can't remember, but he started. He had to get some time mm-hmm. because of the injuries. Yes. And then we just cut him. Yep. <laughs> like, as a rookie, just mm-hmm. like that, he – Yes. Earned his spot during preseason, mm-hmm. caught him, Rams pick him up, he's making plays for them yes. a little bit. Didn't play like too much or anything, but yeah. just for that special teams role. But then they cut him, what, with like two weeks left in the yeah. season, Jaguars pick him up, so mm-hmm. he's not even able to get that Super Bowl ring. Yeah. Well, maybe he did. He if might have because he's up there roster. Yeah, he might have. But you also got to remember too, man, that roster, in terms of the outside linebackers in L.A., you're talking about uh, Leonard Floyd and Von Miller by the time the back half of the season then hit too, you know? Yeah. yeah, so maybe he learned some stuff. He could bring that over here. I'm hoping so, man. Then, yeah, it's Jaguars yeah. and doesn't make their roster after this preseason, yeah. but he's back with us. Mm-hmm. My thing is it's cool. I like the storylines. It's almost like us bringing back Skipper. There's a familiarity there. Yeah. There's there's a little yeah. backstory. Nice, but yeah. between him and Tuska at this point, is, is there that big of a difference? Um, I don't think it's as big of a difference. I just am more of a fan of Jameer's rushing ability. And I don't think that it's that big of a difference between them dudes playing the run. So if I feel like Jameer can do some of the same things that Tuska was doing, but Jameer gives me a little bit more upside as a rusher, that's the part for me where I'm just like, okay, that just means he's a better version right now at this stage in his career. Not saying that Tuska isn't going to continue to grow and get better, but just at this stage, I do think Jameer is a little bit further along in that position. But I was very, I was still kind of surprised that they did move on from Tuska just because him on special teams he still is a productive player you know yeah. and he still had productivity there or production there yeah in the we did see that as well so that was the part where i just thought like man i didn't know that they would move on from him for jameer in that vein but if they feel like jameer can get him a little more upside in that element as well then that could very well be you know part of that too do we have anything else with movement um, marcus allen we knew that was happening yeah we still got some more practice squad spots available though and that's the other part because what we're sitting at is that 11 now or 12? I get check. Yeah, because we already had the eight, and then we just added those, uh, those what four, uh, four guys today. Yeah, let's see. Updating practice squad tracker, we have 12 or 16. Four, yeah, left. so we got four more. Yeah, and it's pretty crazy, too, man. You saw Josh Gordon just sign with the uh, I think Titans practice squad. Damn, yeah. I want to say it was Titans practice squad, yeah. I would have liked to bring him, brought him out. You know what I mean? But that's the thing that's kind of crazy with how the we practice squad stuff works. Though. Yeah. But it's like, man, so with those four spots, it's still going to be movement. That's the big thing with this thing, man. Whether you're talking active roster or on the practice squad, 